discussion about data types concept whatever we we discussed right almost around that you know inter type we covered next a flow type we discussed next a complex type we covered next and after that bool type next last one str these are five types are ah, fundamental data types right okay these five types are by default considered as fundamental data types and after that i cover bytes data type next and after that bytes array are you getting bytes data type byte array like uh, we discussed it, right sir anyone can you please tell what is the difference between bytes and byte array bytes and byte array anyone can you please tell the difference between byte and byte array sir byte itself is byte bytes is immutable but byte array is mutable but in both cases the allowed values are 0 to 255 only remember that sir and after that we covered list and tuple sir list and tuple both are same insertion order is preserved duplicates are allowed are you getting insertion order is preserved duplicates are allowed heterogeneous objects are allowed everything is the same but where is the difference is list is mutable but tuple is immutable list is mutable but tuple is immutable right next after completing that bytes list and tuple we cover set a data type and even frozen set also what is the difference between set and frozen set sir all properties are same in both cases in both cases sir duplicates are not allowed order is not important in both cases duplicates are not allowed and order is not important not important but where is the difference here set is mutable but frozen set is immutable remember this one sir okay frozen set is set is mutable frozen set is immutable remember that okay sir this up to this we covered next one more data type we discussed sir dict dict dictionary are you getting one more data type we discussed sir dict dict means what dictionary dictionary right a group of key value pairs if you want to represent then happily we can go for happily we can we can go for sir dictionary kind of thing dictionary is by default the mutable remember that well sir happily you are allowed to change the content remember sir here don't get confused just observe that sir sir these are two things sir. can you please tell me mutable or immutable please respond these two things are mutable or immutable list and set list and set mutable or immutable are why you are waiting man list and set mutable or immutable this this one is sir mutable tuple and the frozen set these two are immutable but uh, in the case of bytes and bytes array the first one is immutable but second one is mutable remember this one sir don't get confused uh, manisha are you able to understand right okay so bytes is immutable second one is mutable but uh, these two cases sir first are mutable but second the next list is nothing but immutable clear right okay sir anyway just uh, you people may feel confusion that's why sir i provided clearly in our material just i hope you people may may aware sir i provided already here just uh, have a have a look once uh, i provided a beautiful sir table so that you can able to remember very easily right okay sir just the uh, 29th i hope let me let me cross check sir yes summary of data types summary of data types in python 3 are you getting that a beautiful table we provided i provided already sir just the int data type immutable float immutable complex type immutable sir bool type immutable str type immutable bytes immutable byte array immutable sir range anyway forget about this one i not yet to discuss sir we have to discuss sir list is the mutable sir like set under then frozen set under dictionary everyone can able to understand that okay that's all sir yes this is what you people should aware right okay sir next term the people uh, sir who got the access the, the videos in the you can able to see the study material like a material folder there you can able to see this material sir the people who got access uh, already this material by default will be there at the part of your videos so can you please cross check the people who didn't get contact our admin people immediately they will share don't worry about that okay that's all sir now the next term um, another data type what i have to discuss right range data type remember this one sir what is the what is the data type we have to discuss range range data type right sir it is the most common user data type the most common user data type in 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 python is a range data type sir range data type 
represent a sequence of numbers. If you want to represent a sequence of numbers, right? Suppose range of 10 I'm taking. This range of 10 is going to represent 0 to 9. Remember that sir, range of 10 is going to represent what? 0 to 9. Even in our last, almost in these 8 or 9 sessions, sir, minimum 10 times I use the range data type. I hope you people may aware sir, range, range function we use that. Range function is always going to return range object, range data type object sir. Remember that okay. Sir now here in the, in the for loops usually we can able to use right range data type represent a sequence of numbers remember that the elements present in the range data type are not modifiable remember that sir the elements present in the range data type are not modifiable range data type is immutable okay because once are in the elements you can't you can't change sir you can't you are not allowed to change you are not allowed to change the content that's why it is immutable there are multiple forms are available sir all those forms i will discuss don't worry about that sir sir suppose if i can take r is equal to range of 10 are you getting r is equal to range of 10 now what is the type of r let me cross check sir let me let me cross check this one what is the type type of r just uh, observe a bit very carefully sir r is equal to range of 10 sir r is equal to range of 10 now what is the what is the type what is the type of r sir okay if i can take the type of r it is what the range type that's why even range is a function we are using the word the range data type i hope it's a very clear for you right okay it is a sequence of numbers right now r of 0 sir what is the first element in that r of 0 what is the first element in that is nothing but 0 0 itself right sir r of minus 1 what about its value sir anyone can you please tell what is the minus 1 minus 1 means last value last value 9 by default you are going to get sir r of sir r of 2 to 9 2 to 8 i am taking sir so from second index to end minus 1 index second index to end minus 1 index that is nothing but 2 to 7 so internally values also 0 1 2 and so on index and the numbers both are same that's why what is the output by default you are going to get sir range of 2 to 8 i mean range it is the range of 2 to 8 right sir how you can print the values how you can able to print the values sir for i for i in for i in r of for i in r of here just i'm taking 2 to 8 because it is the range object type for i in r sir print of i value then automatically can you please cross check sir 2 3 4 5 6 7 are you getting 2 3 4 5 6 7 by default you are going to get sir sir don't get confused sir here range r contain r contain 0 to 9 have you observed r contain 0 to 9 don't get confused right 0 1 2 3 4 and so on 9 by default we are getting so for this index if you consider if you if you consider that index sir what is the what is the index value for there sir index is 0 uh, sir here index is 1 here index is the 2 so the values and index both are the same so 2 to 8 means uh, second index to begin minus 1 is nothing but seventh index that's why what is the output by default we are going to get sir 2 to 7 everyone can able to understand right sir this is about the form 1 okay form 1 is range of some begin some number some number i'm taking sir some number it is always going to represent 0 to number minus 1 that's all this is about first form sometimes my requirement is hey, i don't want from 0 man i don't want from 0 hey, 10 to 30 i want i want a sequence of numbers from 10 to 30 10 to 30 how you can able to use, use sir range of begin to begin to end sir you can you can able to pass you can able to pass two arguments also then it's going to represent numbers from begin to end the minus one index remember that sir begin to here how many arguments i'm passing in the first case how many arguments i'm passing only one but here how many arguments i'm passing the two arguments i'm passing so begin of 10 comma some 30 i'm taking 10 comma some 20 i'm taking do you know what it's going to return sir it will return a sequence of numbers from from 10 to uh, please respond from 10 to re, respond from <coughs> 10 to 19 are you getting 10 to 19 19 from begin index to n the minus one have a look one sir i'm taking i'm taking for i in for i in range of 
10 10 comma 20 i am taking sir 10 comma 20 print of i value print of i value sir sir observe the 10 11 12 13 14 15 and so on 10 to 19 if you want to represent then automatically this is the argument you have to go for sir so observe that first are first form second form first form is going to take only one argument but second one is going to take two arguments right sir obviously what is the third one what is the what is the third one sir third one is range of begin range of begin comma end comma step value step value right sir somewhere in the slice operator we covered somewhere in the slice slice operator we covered sir sir what is going to take is begin from begin 10 to here or otherwise 0 to 0 to 100 i'm taking 0 to 101 i'm taking sir 101 so if i can take like this if i can take like this then it's always going to provide 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 100 are i don't want 0 1 2 3 and so on every time can you please increment by 5 every time can you please increment by 5 are you getting my requirement here can you please increment by 5 observe that from 1 to can you please increment by 5 now observe every time it is going to increment by 5 so first one next up 5 first one next up 5 next up 10 next up, like this we are going to get sir what is the value 1 comma 5 comma 1 comma here what what value body for you are going to get 1 comma 5 comma 10 comma 15 comma 20 like this it's going to represent not in the sequence remember that sir not not in the sequence i hope you people can able to understand that so range of 1 comma range of 1 comma 101 comma 5 so make make sure sir this is so now this is what what you people should be aware just have a look once let me take begin of begin sorry, sorry range of range of 1 comma 101 comma 5 i'm taking sir range of 1 comma 101 comma 5 sir for i in range for i in range can you please print off i value sir can you please have a look once have you observed right so starts from one after one it's going to increment by five sorry observe that after one it's going to increment by five one plus five what about its value sir six six plus five what about its value eleven eleven plus five its value is nothing but sixteen sir my requirement is zero zero five one so on then automatically let me take zero no problem at all have a look one have a look once range of <coughs> 0 comma 1 at 1 comma 5 starts first 0 and then 5 and then 10 and then 15 by default we are going to get sir sir let me go for for i in range here just i'm taking print of i have you observed have you observed right sir can you please observe 0 5 10 15 25 30 and so on by default we are going to get sir how much increment you want that increment is nothing but step value everyone can aware yes are you in a position to understand after this right sir if you are not mentioning this one if you are not mentioning this one then automatically what are the values by default we are going to get can you can you spell out zero yeah what values by default we are going to get zero one two three four and so on all the numbers by default we are going to get but i don't want but i don't want all just the increment by 10 or increment by 5 sir how much increment you want then that is the third argument that's all sir these are the three forms are available okay for this range range function right range function slice function slice operator all these things more or less three arguments it's going to take easily you people can able to understand right okay now my question is observe that sir r is equal to range of 10 i'm taking sir r is equal to range of 10 perfectly valid sir r of 0 what the answer i got array r of 0 what the answer i got 0 first value first value right sir now r of 0 is equal to sir double 7 i am taking hey can you please change the first value of the double 7 can you please change the first value of the double 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 7 like this i want to do that sir immediately immediately we are going to get sir immutable sir item wise assignment not possible range object does not support item assignment range object does not support item assignment everyone can able to understand range range object does not support item assignment this is the error by default we are going to get it's very clear range data type is always what immutable okay that's all these are the 14 data types what we have to discuss right this is the last one sir okay like all the 14 data types came or not can you please cross check int int float 
ಇಂಟು ಫ್ಲೋಟ್ ಬೋಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಬೋಲ್ ಹಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಹಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ವೀಕ್ ಅವರ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ವೀಕ್ ಅವರ್ಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದನ್ ಸರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವೀಕ್ ಅವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈಟ್ಸ್ ವೀಕ್ ಅವರ್ಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಬೈಟ್ ಎರೇ ವೀಕ್ ಅವರ್ಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ವೀ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಸರ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಟುಪಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟುಪಲ್ ಹಾ ಸೆಟ್ ಫ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಫ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ರೇಂಜ್ ವೀಕ್ ಅವರ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇಟ್ ಸರ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಾಲಜಿ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ದಟ್ ಸರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸರ್ but uh, here there is some important word what i have to discuss right one minute please wait for a minute there are some doubts how we can show little description for any generic added keyword hmm? like man page in linux no hmm. sir if range is a data type then why we are getting range object in the error line range object because it is a data type only every data type object every data type is by default considered as object only every data type value everything in python is an object only remember that okay sir now just up to this whatever we covered just there are one or two conclusions i want to talk sir 14 data types we covered none data type we will discuss don't worry about that none data type we will discuss sir okay that part we are going to discuss in detail just observe there are some conclusions i have to discuss right what is the first conclusion sir in general we can use a bytes type and a byte array in general we can use a bytes type and a byte array to represent binary information are you getting to represent binary binary information like uh, images a uh, video file etc somewhere i i i covered already this point sir okay bytes and the byte data type where we can use this one in general to represent the binary information like images video files and so on in the file io there we require to discuss a bit in detail sir remember that next uh, second point already i discussed sir long data type can you please tell is the python contain long data type or not ayyo respond is the python contain long data type or not yes the answer is uh, no 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 by default sir because it is available only in the python 2 remember that but not there in the python 3 okay python 3 doesn't contain any long data type that's a even long values also in python 3 we have to represent by using int type only next can you tell suppose i'm taking sir a single character within single code a single character within single code what is this one sir is it a cat data type or str type is it a cat type or str type okay in python there is no char data type hence we can represent char values also by using okay string only str type only sir okay that's all these are various things what you people should be aware clearly right but some more extra things are there that's what i will discuss just uh, have a look about this uh, table if you are getting anywhere doubts can you please uh, let me know sir here if you are getting anywhere though can you please uh, have a look once whether all the things are covered or not in we can use yeah to represent into values so uh, immutable this is the immutable like sir even examples also we covered float type complex type boolean type str type bytes type byte array range list tuple set okay that's all frozen set and dictionary even with examples also i provided right make sure you people should aware okay sir next what is the next thing i have to discuss related to this data types there are some important loopholes are there let me talk about sir sir do you know none 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 data type sir what is the meaning of none none means do you know none values are possible in the python sir because none none is a keyword none is a reserved word in python remember that none means nothing nothing man none means nothing or no value associated with that okay so sometimes if the value is not available then how you can handle that situation you can represent that cases by using none none value right so something like null value in java the people who are expecting who are coming from java in java we have null null suppose string s is equal to null is there what is the meaning of string s is equal to null sir 
S is not the pointing to any object. Remember this one, sir. S is not pointing to any object. Itself is nothing but none. None. Remember. So, where we can use a none? Suppose, suppose i is equal to 10. Assume that, sir. i is equal to 10. Sir, internal memory representation is, sir, i is a pointing to object. i is pointing to this object. Suppose, if I can take i is equal to none. <laughs> if I can take i is equal to none, what will happen is, this i, now on what it is value is none, then automatically it is no longer pointing to any object. This object by default eligible for garbage collection. Are you getting that? Okay, this object by default will be destroyed by my Python virtual machine, right? Okay, none means uh, it is not pointing to any object. There is no value like that, right? So now, where where you can use this none? Where where we can use this none, sir? Sir, very simple, very very simple. Suppose I have one function is there. Assume that, sir. This function. What it's taking here, sir, in that a is equal to 10, I'm taking. Sir, this is the way how you can able to write the uh, functions, functions by using def keyword, def keyword, f1 I'm taking like a is equal to 10. Some variable it is declaring. Beyond that, nothing, sir. Now my question is, sir, I'm calling f1. I'm calling f1. Then automatically, suppose here instead of that, print of hello, I'm taking, sir. I'm calling F1, then no problem, happily, hello is going to be printed. But now my requirement is, I want to print F1 return value. Are you getting, I want to print F1 return value. Are you, this function return anything? Can you please respond? Is this function return anything? No, it's not going to return anything. If it is not going to return anything, then what value by default we are going to get? Simple, sir, we are going to get none, none. Boss, no value. Boss, no value. Is nothing but none, none. Okay, we are going to get none, none value, right? Okay, have a, have a look once, sir, you people may have just, uh, sir, I'm taking D colon Durga classes, okay? Test dot PY, I'm taking, sir. Sir, here take a bit very, very special case. Sir, I'm taking D, E, F, F1. Of course, in the functions, I will discuss much. D, E, F, F1, print of hello, I'm taking, sir. D, E, F, F1, print of hello. Sir, now I'm calling F1. I'm calling F1, F1 function. Happily, hello is going to, hello is going to two times, sir. Two times I'm calling. Two times hello is going to be printed, sir. No problem at all. Have a look once. Have a look once, sir. PY test dot PY I'm taking. Have a look. Hello. Hello by default. We are going to get sir. Sir, now my requirement is hey, just can you please sir, execute this function? Under this function, return value. Can you please print? Uh, execute this function. That's why hello will be printed. But what this function is going to return? That return value. Can you please print? Uh, this is about my requirement. That function not to return any value if there is no value to handle such type of cases we should go for none data type remember that sir okay have you observed what is the answer by default you are going to get sir none clear are you able to get none means what no value no value sir one one student is asking the doubt sir none none either case sensitive or not none either case sensitive or not yes compulsory sir capital N and then remaining are lower case. Okay, it is the reserved word. Python itself is the case sensitive, sir. Here, lower case is not allowed. N should be capital. Okay, remember. Sir, 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 this is about none type. Everyone got clarity about none? Everyone got the clarity about none? Okay, none means what? Nothing. No value, right? Next, uh, some students are asking in the last session somewhere, sir, escape characters are allowed in the Python or not? Escape characters are allowed in the Python or not, okay? Like, uh, yes, very rare we are going to use, but still, no problem at all, sir. Escape characters are allowed. Escape, escape characters are allowed, sir. Acceptable. How, sir, how you can able to use? Can you, can you spell out? What are any example for escape characters? Backslash? Back, backslash N. What is the meaning of this one? Escape character. Backslash N. What is the... Meaning of this one, new line. Next time after that, backslash t. Are you getting? Backslash t. What is the meaning of this one, sir? Horizontal tab. Are you getting? 
horizontal tab horizontal tab like this right okay backslash n new line backslash t horizontal tab tab happily we are allowed to use escape characters in python there is no problem at all sir sir now let me go for a small example so that you people can can get much clarity right sir here i'm taking yes is equal to yes is equal to durga durga under then backslash n software i'm taking Durga backslash n under then software I'm taking sir. Now sir print of yes I'm taking sir. Can you please print this value? Can you please print this value? Are you are you able to see right? Durga software. Durga software by default we are going to get sir print of yes itself is nothing but Durga software. Suppose yes is equal to sir I'm taking Durga backslash t. Are you getting Durga backslash t software? Can you please tell what is the meaning of backslash t? Horizontal tab, tab. Okay. Now, can you please print off? Yes. Okay. Durga and the spaces a tab is there under then software. Sir, make sure it is the even similar to other languages. Happily in Python also escape characters are available. Sir, what are various escape characters present inside Python? Sir, remember that one. So, new line. Next one after that, horizontal tab, backslash R. What is the meaning of that, sir? Carriage return. Uh, carriage return. Next one after that, backslash B. What is the meaning of backslash B, sir? Backspace. Remember that, sir? Back, backspace. Back, backspace. Next one after that, sir, F. F means uh, form feed. Remember that. F means form feed. But very rare we are going to use all these things. Don't worry about that, sir. Next one after that, even, even, backslash v backslash v vertical tab are you getting vertical tab backslash v vertical tab so if you want to use if you want to use some single quote as a symbol if you want to use single quote as a symbol then we have to use backslash a single quote single quote as a symbol if you want to use then this is the approach we have to follow sir so uh, backslash single quote similarly if you want to represent double quotes sir if you want to represent double double quotes sir, i want to use double quote as the symbol then automatically you have to write like this it is also escape character right if you want to use backslash as the symbol only backslash as the symbol symbol only then automatically here sir backslash character are you getting backslash character right backslash character like so that's all these are various these are various various escape characters present inside python remember that i hope escape characters are allowed in the python or not rare respond man escape characters are allowed in the python or not yes similar to other languages no problem at all happily we are allowed to use sir best example here just observe that yes is equal to yes is equal to sir the book the book uh, python the book uh, python python so i want to use i want to use uh, sir this is a single quote as a symbol only python python is uh, very easy are you getting the book python is very easy i want to use then automatically here this is okay to represent string to represent string but what about these things it is a problem right observe that it is a it is a problem if i can take like this observe a bit very carefully in invalid syntax how you can handle this situation right if you want to use this symbol as a symbol only then automatically you should go for backslash are you getting you should go for one backslash then automatically now single quote by default is considered yeah uh, is is single quote by default is considered yeah symbol only remember okay sir have you have a look once sir yes observe if you print that if you print that yes it is going to come within the single quote clear are you able to get right okay even you are allowed to use the triple quotes also no problem at all sir okay but uh, how to use that we covered already even in the next session somewhere we are going to discuss okay this is about escape characters in the python escape characters are perfectly allowed no problem at all okay like uh, sir what is the next cinema we require to discuss right very very important sub observe that do you know in all languages in all languages we have in all languages we have constants concept is there sir remember that constants constants concept is there in java how you can represent constant yes 
how you can represent constant by using final what is the meaning of constant anyone can you please tell what is the meaning meaning of constant okay ah, what is the meaning of constant its value is fixed its value is fixed uh, devendra kumar yes devendra kumar what is the uh, equivalent optional maybe we may discuss in the next sessions don't worry about that optional there may be maybe maybe a chance we can okay uh, basaraz what what is the meaning of string template string template means are you talking about uh, triple quotes basaraz are you talking about triple quotes no no i don't think uh, in python okay i don't think uh, this possibility in python in which language you have that facility in which language you use that can you please have you ever saw anywhere maybe parallel angular okay okay here there is no such type of facility now do you know what is constant the value is always fixed the value is always fixed the value it, it's never going to be changed in java we have final index is equal to tensor okay you know that you never allow to change you never allow to change the value of x i'm sure sir by mistake if you are trying to change x value immediately in java compatible error by default you are going to get sir remember that but in python constants such type of story not there <laughs> remember this one constants such type of story is not there it is a dynamically type of sir so constants concept is not applicable but programmatically if you want to indicate sir sir don't change its value sir don't change its value i want to indicate that then automatically sir we can use uh, capital letters are you getting only upper case letter to indicate that was anyone don't change its value my intention is my intention is uh, it should be constant like uh, so coding wise uh, you can able to indicate uh, but you can't keep uh, uh, sir something like a restriction oh you are not allowed to change it remember that sir constant concept not applicable in python but it is a convention to use only upper case characters if you don't want to change its a value remember that right okay sir now max value is equal to 10 by default you are going to get it just a convention but we can change its value is that just a year available one sir i'm taking i'm taking max value okay max value is equal to 10 i'm taking sir max value is equal to 10 sir now what is the what is the value of what is the what is the max value can you please print its value happily it's going to tell 10 sir i want to change its value sir max value is equal to 399 i'm taking can you please tell is it acceptable or not yes is it acceptable or not yes perfectly this one is acceptable acceptable no problem you 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 can it is a convention that was it the constant but there is no such type of concept in python okay you can change its value no problem at all are you getting so what is the value by default we are going to get if i print this one then automatically 309 that's why make sure make sure the constants concept not applicable if still if you feel sorry it's a constant no one is don't change its value if you want to indicate better to use uppercase characters are you able to understand yes yes nanda kishor yes it is yes this one is the dynamically typed programming language if you want some advantages compulsory this type of problems also by default will be there okay next sir what is the next cinema we require to discuss about this one that's all sir with this language fundamentals concept got completed whatever we discussed almost for the last eight or nine sessions whatever the things we covered sir it is the language language fundamentals concept got completed right sir just uh, have you remembered the first day itself i covered the first day itself i covered sir just the introduction next what are various features of python is there almost around 11 or 12 features we covered simple and easy and so on limitations of python flavors of python next versions of python identifiers reserved words data types type casting sir we we covered all these things right okay 
next topic what we have to discuss right operator concept remember that sir this is the second topic what we are going to use okay can i can i start the cinema ray can i start the cinema operators okay it's a very easy concept very easy concept okay nothing is there in this concept sir very easy because operators concept we are discussing from childhood downwards sir so 2 plus 3 3 plus 5 what is the value of 2 plus 3 <laughs> don't get doubt man okay what is the value of 2 plus 3 its value is nothing but 5 something like 2 into 2 into 3 what is about its value sir 6 something like oh, do you know <laughs> at our childhood downward we know all the 5 is a very easy operated concept right but small small loopholes are there these things compulsory you people should evade sir suppose if what is operator what is what is operator operator right Anyone, can you please tell what is what is an operator? Sir, operator is a symbol. Operator is a symbol that performs certain operations. Operations, right? Sir, if any person, if any person performing certain operation, assume that plus, it is performing certain operations, sir. So, if any person performing certain operation is by default considered as yes, operator concept. Okay, like, sir, in Python, in Python, which operators are available? Some operators are responsible to perform arithmetic operation. Some operations are responsible for comparison purpose. Logical operators, which wise operators like uh, there are multiple operators are available in Python. Just uh, this is the list, sir. We have arithmetic operators are there. Okay. We have arithmetic operators are there. Next, uh, we have relational operators. Relational operators are there. Relational operators are there are comparison operators. Are you getting comparison operators are there, sir? Next, uh, arithmetic operators, relational operators. Next, uh, logical operators are there, sir. Logical, logical operators are there. Next, uh, bitwise operators are there. Bitwise operators are there, sir. Next, after bitwise, even we have assignment operators also. Assignment operators are also there. Next, uh, last one, special, some special operators are there, sir. This is a brief description. This is a brief description about the operator's concept. Next, um, sir, here what is the what is the use of operators in Python? Why, man? <laughs> why, you, Raju, why you don't want operators? Because I have to perform some arithmetic operations. Okay, suppose read the data from the end user. Re read, enter, enter diesel price or how many, how many letters of diesel you require. Sir, I have to read from the keyboard from the from the end user sir into diesel price sir this is the bill i want to generate how you can perform calculations <laughs> are you getting right how you can able to perform calculation compulsory it should be required man okay operators concept is the minimum fundamental requirement for any programming language remember sir now what are various arithmetic operators are there okay sir can you can you spell out can you can you spell out what are various operators are there arithmetic relational logical bitwise assignment and a special special operators right almost two to three sessions i want to talk about only operators concept make sure very very important compulsory you people should be aware the behavior right okay sir can you please tell what are various arithmetic operators we have please respond hey, from our childhood downwards we know what are various operators we have plus minus multiplication division modulo operator correct correct these are the things what we have in almost all programming languages arithmetic arithmetic operators means sir plus means addition minus means subtraction multiplication star means multiplication division slash means division operator next last uh, modulo operator right modulo operator means uh, reminder if you divide a by b what is the reminder what is the reminder like we are going to get sir Suppose I'm taking 10, 10 uh, by uh, 10 modulo 3. I'm taking, sir. 10 modulo 3. What about its value, sir? If I divide uh, 10 with 3, what is the remainder? 1. Remainder 1. Sir, modulo operator means reminder. Reminder, not quotient. Observe that. Reminder, reminder. How much? What is the reminder? Sir, 3 into 3, 9 times. And 1 is the reminder, something like that. Right? Next, uh, in addition to these uh, 5 operators, Python contains sir, special operators are there, two special arithmetic operators, right? First one is, uh, sir, 
two two times a slash. Are you getting? Second one a two times a star. Are you getting? Just observe, sir. Already, already it is there. Already it is there, sir. This is a normal division operator. We know this one is nothing but normal division operator. Then what is this one, sir? What is what is about this one? I will explain with an example. Don't worry much about this one, sir. It is called floor division operator. Are you getting floor division operator? Okay, floor floor division operator, right? What it means? I will I will explain. Don't don't worry much about this one, sir. Floor floor division operator, right? Okay, sir. Now what is the meaning of floor division? It is always going to provide nearest. Are you getting that nearest of floor value? Next, star star means what? Star star means what? Exponential. Are you getting power power operator, right? Sir, a power b, a square, a uh, like a power star star means what? Uh, power power operator, right? Remember the exponential operator or power operator, right? Yes, clear. Are you in a position to understand? Oh, some people are feeling, feeling this is the floor division. Automatically, this one is by default considered floor multiplication. <laughs> Amit, no, no, no. It is a power operator. Okay, like that. Sir, if I explain with a small, chota example, then you can able to understand very, very easily, sir. Nothing is there. Now, have a look once, sir. Observe that A is equal to 10 I'm taking. B is equal to 2 I'm taking, sir. A is equal to 10, B is equal to 2. Sir, print of here legend. Legend a bit carefully, sir. Print of A plus B is equal to A plus B is equal to just I'm taking A plus B, sir. Just what is the value of A plus B? Uh, next, uh, like uh, sir, I'm taking the remaining also A minus B. Regarding what is the value of A minus B? Next, uh, A into B I'm taking. What is the value of A into B? Next, uh, A division B. Sir, take a bit more concentration must be required here. Next, uh, A modulo B. A modulo B I'm taking. Next, uh, A, sir, floor division, sir. A floor division I'm taking. Last possibility, sir. A, A, okay, like I'm taking power. Can you please tell? First one, what is the answer? First one, what is the answer, sir? 12. Correct or not? A plus B is nothing but 12. What is the second one, sir? Ah, second one, 10 minus 2, 8. What is the third one? 10 into 2, 20. Perfect. What is the fourth one? Please respond. What is the fourth one? Ah, respond. I want this one. I want this one, sir. What is the, what is the fourth one? A by B. How many times, sir? How many times division is going to be happen like? Uh, what is the value? Sanket, take a bit very special care. What is the output by default you are going to get, sir? Remember, remember. A bit dangerous point, sir. Observe that. Sir, in Python, in Python, sir, division operator will always work for floating point arithmetic only. Floating point arithmetic only. The return, the result of division operator is always float value only. Remember that, sir. That's why in this case, what is the output by default we are going to get? A 5.0. Remember this one, sir. Sir, A by B, 10 by 2. The value is not 5. The value is 5.0 division operator always going to return always going to return sir this is this is a float value only remember that sir next uh, what is the meaning of modulo a modulo b sir 10 by 2 what is the remainder what is the remainder remainder is the zero remainder itself is nothing but what zero sir zero is the remainder okay like uh, sir a floor division what is the meaning of floor floor division sir sir very simple very simple 10 by 2 10 by 2. So, floor, floor value, floor value means round value. Sir, what is the value? Its value is nothing but 5. By default, we are going to get what, what about its value, sir? 5. Floor division. Remember this one, sir? 5. 5 itself is the value. Next, A power B. A power B. 10 square. What about its value, sir? 10 square. Its value is nothing but what? 100 by default. Everyone can able to understand, but anyway, anyway, just here I will spell much, much, much discussion about this one. Don't worry about that. Okay, this, this case and the, uh, sorry, division and the floor division, I will discuss much. Don't worry about that. Okay, now have a look once, sir. What is the output by default we are going to get if I, if I run this code? Ty, test that. Are you getting? A plus B is nothing but 12, A minus B, A 20, but A by B is nothing but 5.0, 5.0, observe that it's a very, very important, sir, okay? 
next a percentage b is equal to zero but here five and the power is nothing but hundred clear any explanation is required up to this ray please respond any explanation is required up to this okay that's all sir now let me go for a small chota example another example sir a is equal to 10.5 a is equal to 10.5 b is equal to 2 i'm taking a is equal to 10.5 b is equal to 2 can you please tell what the value 12.5 12.5 ah next one after that here 8.5 next 10.5 into 2 is nothing but like 21 21.0 something like a by b a by b 10.5 by 2 is nothing but 5.25 5.25 next a percentage b a percentage b is nothing but what is the answer by default we are going to get 0 0.5 0 0.5 we are going to get sir what is the floor division you have to tell sir what is the what is the what is the floor division can you please tell yes please respond what is the what is the answer by default you are going to get sir so this is about my value what is the value of a by b please respond what is the value of a by b a by b is nothing but what is the, what is the value sir 10.5 by 2 5.25 5.25 sir a floor division b what is the answer please respond can you please guess what is the value floor division what is the answer we are going to get sir floor means uh, sir before or after ayo if i have x is here floor of x means uh, before sir ceiling is nothing but next level ceiling is nothing but upper value observe that floor means before ceiling means after after if it is a 5.25 before value is nothing but something like a 5 after value is nothing but 6 remember this one sir so this is called floor this is nothing but seal clear okay now can you please tell what the answer we are going to get huh what the answer we are going to get yeah that's what you people should aware sir sir floor floor division will work for both the floating point and the integral values if both are intertype the result is always inter if both the, if at least one is the float type then the result is the float type only 5.0 is the answer remember that sir 5.0 0, 0 is the is the answer sir but uh, here normal division operator is always going to return normal division operator is always going to return float value only observe the difference right but uh, this one will work uh, for both the float values and uh, this one will work for int values also no problem if the result is the float it's always going to provide float only if the result is the int it's always going to provide int value only now let me execute this code let me execute this code sir 10.5 under 2 what is the output by default you are going to get can you please observe 10.5 under 2 12.5 8.5 21.0 a by b a by b 5.25 a percentage b 0 0.5 is the remainder here 5.0 we are getting but not 5 5.0 we are getting but not 5 next uh, sir this is the power power operator right so 110.25 by default we are going to get clear right clear now sir just uh, still if you have if you are having any doubt about this division operator flow division just uh, observe that sir okay very very simple just uh, let me sir normal division always always float value only are, are you getting normal division always float value but the floor division can return uh, can return both the float and the int values remember this one it can return both the float and the int values right okay now i'm taking sir 10 by just to take a bit very special case sir 10 by 2 what is the answer please respond 10 by 2 what is the answer we are going to get now array 10 by 2 5.0 not 5 not 5 5.0 5.0 10 by 2 is nothing but 5.0 next uh, sir here 10 division floor division 2 what is the answer 10 floor division 2 its value is always 5 next uh, 10 point 0 by 2 what is the answer 10.0 by 2 floor floor normal normal division normal division 5.0 next 10.0 floor division 2 what is the answer don't get confused don't get confused floor sir the result is the flow type that's why it is going to provide 5.0 only remember that so if the result is the intertype it is going to provide int value 
if the result is the flow type it is going to provide float value but this operator normal division operator always going to return always going to return only float values only remember that but second one it can return float value or it can return int value no problem at all clear yes okay some some people may ask sir i have 10 is there observe that i have 10 is there sir 10 10 10 by 3 10 by 3 what about its value 10 by 3 what about its value sir hey respond man 10 by 3 what about its value 10 by 3 uh sorry p y okay 10 by 3 i'm taking its value is always 3.33 and so on 10 by 3 what about its value 10 by 3 what about its value sir it is the intertype okay 3 remember that even even 3.9999 also if you are asking about floor it is always going to provide three only remember alok i hope you people some some person ask the doubt three three but uh, if it is a if it is a normal division it's always going to return what like this clear are you in a position to understand right okay so this is the floor division an extra more flexibility for us so sometimes you may require sometimes you may require only whole values whole values not with the decimal points then automatically floor division normal division is nothing but always floating point arithmetic only that all. next a small chota thing i have to explain related to these arithmetic operators right sir observe plus operator is there plus operator is there 10 plus 2 what is the answer <laughs> 10 plus 2 what is the answer 12 12 is the answer sir here a plus b what is the answer a plus b a plus b what is the answer a b a plus b is nothing but a b sir do you know somewhere we cover sir even even in java also plus operator can be used for two purposes either arithmetic operator or or string concatenation operator string concatenation operator right remember that okay so we can use a plus operator for strings also for string objects also then it's going to simply act as concatenation operator how it is going to work sir simply it acts as concatenation operator right how it is going to be happen okay that's all here is there any rule is there one minute 10 plus 2 12 is the answer sir a plus b is the a plus b what about its value a b right yes well it is going to work no problem at all now immediately some student is asking sir sir i'm taking a a plus 10 what about its value a plus 10 what about its value <laughs> yes yes good the people who are coming from java background you can able to answer very easily good good but the answer by default you are going to get the people who are coming from java background you can able to answer very easily sir a plus 10 a plus 10 good excellent excellent but the answer by default we are going to get a 10 okay remember sir 10 plus a what is the answer we are going to get please respond again please respond 10 plus a what is the answer we are going to get are you what they are inside man first one you are telling correctly automatically second one is also sir the answer by default will become 10 a i hope is it clear for all of you right are you respond man is it clear for all of you right okay well remember that this rule applicable only for java not for python okay in python compiler i mean python will give left and right okay if you want to apply plus operator sir for the string compulsory both arguments should be string type only remember but in java but in java one argument is the string type one argument is the single type the other can be any type no problem at all it may be int value it may be boolean value it may be any type but in python compulsory both the things should be string type only by mistake one is the string the other one is non-string type immediately python is going to get left and right everyone can aware so <laughs> in this case and in this case both are invalid the people who are coming from java background take a bit special care about this behavior sir here observe that a plus a 10 i'm taking have you observed type error must be string 
not int. Must be string, not int. Remember that. Sir, similarly, 10 plus A. Have you observed? Uh, unsupported operand types plus between int and string. Unsupported operand types between surfer plus uh, int and string you can't apply. Clear? So plus operator applicable for the string type or not? Respond, man. Plus operator is applicable for string type or not? Yes, plus operator applicable. But make sure both arguments should be string type only. By mistake, if any other type, immediately error by default, you are going to get. Okay, that's all. Next, uh, one more small loophole I have to tell. Sir, 10 into 2. What's the value? Don't get confused. 10 into 2. I'm asking normal normal operation. 10 into 2. What's the answer? 20. 20, right. Sir, now, here, AB, AB into 2, I'm taking. <laughs> AB into 2, I'm taking. What's the answer? Yes. Can you please guess the answer? <laughs> AB into 2. Huh? What's the answer by default you are going to get, sir? Yes. That's what you people should aware. In Java, is it possible or not possible? In Java, if you are taking like this, Java compiler will give left and right. Are you getting it? So it's not possible. But in Python, this one is possible. Star operator, you can apply. You can apply for the string also. No problem at all, sir. If we apply star operator for the string, then it is considered, yeah, sir, string multiplication operator. Are you getting what is this one, sir? String multiplication operator. Then what it means is AB, AB. AB is going to consider two times. AB is going to consider two times, sir. Now observe AB, AB into two. AB into two. What is the answer? AB, AB. Are you getting, sir? AB, AB into some five times I'm taking. AB, 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 AB. Like a five times, right? I hope clear. Yes. Can you please tell? 5 into Durga, I'm taking. Valid or not? Are, is it valid or not? Ah, what, is the, what, is the, what is the output we are going to get, sir? Durga, 5 times. Sir, observe, order, order. First string and then number. But now, first number and then string I'm taking. Is it valid or not? Are, respond, valid or not? Perfectly, this one is... Perfectly, this one is valid. No problem at all. So, number valid, valid, valid rather. Durga will be considered five times. Durga will be considered five times, five times. Remember that it's a valid, sir. Durga, 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 and so on. It is going to be considered five times. Observe that. But uh, the rule is very simple, sir. If you want to apply star operator for the string, star operator for the string, one argument should be string type. Second argument should be int type. Remember that. Sir, whatever first you can take string under then number or first you can take number under then string, no problem at all. One argument should be string. The other argument should be number only. Suppose I'm taking, sir, Durga, Durga, and then AB I'm taking. Have you observed Durga? And then AB I'm taking. Then immediately Python will give left and right. Oy, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? You have to take star followed by some number, man. What is the meaning of that? Have you observed? Can't multiply sequence by non-int type. Are you getting? You can't multiply sequence by non-int type. Like we are going to get the error. That's all. This is the small extra thing what you people should be aware about the arithmetic operators, right? Okay. Star operator and the plus operator, we can apply for the string. If we apply plus operator for the string, then it takes a string concatenation operator, string concatenation operator. Next, if we apply star operator, then automatically it is considered as string multiplication operator or repetition operator. String repetition operator, like you can able to use multiplication operator. Or sometimes you may use string repetition operator, right? Okay, repetition, repetition operator, like that's all. This is what, what you people should aware, sir. Ah, I told right, Devendra Kumar. Can you please observe that, sir? Can, the remaining people, can you please confirm? Devendra Kumar is asking this doubt, sir. 2.0. Can you please tell is it valid or not? Durga into 2.0. Valid or invalid? Invalid. Sanket, invalid. Can you please have a look once? Can't multiply a sequence by non-int. Oh, it is always expecting what? Int. It's always expecting what? Int. Int. 
but not non int okay now i'm taking sir here durga next and after that into 2.0 observe that into 2.0 non int type float you are not allowed to take only possibility you should take into int type only by mistake if you are trying to take any other type immediately error by default we will get that's all clear any explanation is required okay make sure sir next the uh, last uh, one more point you have to aware sir if you are considering if you are considering any any x value any x value it may be int value it may be float value it may be int value it may be float float value any x value by zero by zero or x percentage zero are you getting either x by zero or x percentage zero always we are going to get zero division error zero division error remember this one sir so we are always going to get one zero division error remember that sir not only that x even even sir what 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 this one is nothing but what so even uh, this one itself is nothing but even in this case also zero division error by default we are going to get everyone can able to understand right yes are you in a position to understand not required to keep much much explanation right so any number division by zero or modulo by zero or flow division by zero yes the result is always zero division error sir 10 by zero 10 by zero yes zero division error division by zero 10.0 by zero yes zero division error 10 modulo zero 10 modulo zero zero division error next 10 flow division zero yes like 10.0 by 0 or division 0, like 0 division error, like in all cases, by default, we are going to get 0 division error, right? But why I'm taking this special care is about this one, whether x is a float value or whether x is the int value, in all cases, by default, we are going to get is 0 division error only. The people who are coming from Java background take a bit special care. In Java, the behavior is the different. Remember that. In Java, the behavior is the different, sir. Yeah, if you consider Java, if you consider Java, system dot out dot print LN, 10 by 0, 10 by 0. What about its value? Anyone can you please tell? What about its value 10 by 0? 10 by 0. 10 point 0 by 0. 10 point 0 by 0. 0 by 0. 0 point 0 by 0. <laughs> 0, 0, by 0. Have you done? The people who are coming from Java, 10 by 0. What the answer? Respond, man. Who are coming from Java? 10 by 0. Arithmetic exception. Arithmetic exception. Good. 10.0 by 0. 10.0 by 0. Are you? 10.0 by 0. It is not arithmetic exception. It is not arithmetic exception. 0 by 0. Again, arithmetic exception. But 0 0.0 by 0. It is not arithmetic exception. Sir, here, arithmetic exception. But in this case, happily, you are going to get infinity is the answer. But 0 by 0, again, arithmetic exception. But 0 0.0 by 0, 0 0.0 by 0, happily we are going to get n, a, n. Remember that Java behavior is the different and Python behavior is the different, especially in this case. Sir, can you please execute once? We don't know about in Java, we don't know about this loophole, like some people may ask. Matter of one minute, sir, please. The people who don't know Java, just ignore this one minute discussion. Okay? Yeah, just uh, let me go for. The colon Java C test dot Java. Syntactically perfectly valid, no problem at all. Sir, Java test. Java test. First line, arithmetic exception. First line, arithmetic exception. Okay? Like, now comment that line. Comment that line. Second line, you never going to get arithmetic exception. Happily, infinity is the answer. Are you getting? Second line, infinity is the answer. But third line, arithmetic exception. Comment that third line. Okay, fourth one, no exception. Happily by default, we are going to get happily we are going to get n a n. So Java behavior is the different, Python behavior is the different. Remember in Python, in Python, sir, x by x by zero or x floor division zero or x modulo zero, x modulo zero. Sir, whether x value is int value, float value, any case, the result is always zero division error. Clear? 
Yes. Are you in a position to understand, right? That's all. This is about okay, arithmetic operator and the loopholes, whatever we have, sir. Remember that. Next, uh, we are ready to talk about relational operators. Are you getting? We are ready to talk about relational relational operators, right? Okay. That's all. This concept we will discuss in the next session. Don't worry about that. Okay. So highly recommended. Better to take the printout of the material. Almost first unit completed. Just uh, spend some time on the material so that uh, you people can feel more comfortable. Okay, with the Python syntax, yes, data types, everything, sir. Okay, that the previous knowledge must be highly helpful to continue for the next. Uh, the people who didn't get the material immediately contact our admin. So those people are going to share that material. And uh, already, sir, almost you got the access for the videos, almost around the uh, 50 plus videos already shared with you people which are related to the previous batch. So if you are having the time, if you really very much interested, what you can able to do is, uh, you can, what, what you can able to do is, just the better to listen my previous batch videos in advance and then come to this class. Now this class by default will become revision for you people, okay? Even you can rise, uh, if you are having the doubts, happily I can able to, I can able to clarify that, okay? So make, make sure. Next and after that, mostly day after tomorrow, either Saturday or Sunday, one separate session I'm going to take for you people. Just I will intimate how to install Python. Next and after that, how to, how I'm executing, in how many ways we have, we have to execute the Python program, in how many styles we are going to execute Python program. That thing I will take a small demo session, small session. Don't worry about that. Hello. Are you able to understand? Akash, Akash. Okay, so just I will I will take I will take just the day after that tomorrow. Don't worry, sir. A separate session I will take just for how to install Python. Next time after that, is there any path we require to set? Next up from the command prompt, how you can you have ideal also Python ideal also. How you can able to use what advantages are there, what limitations are there, like uh, all those things I will discuss. Don't worry about that. Okay, yes. So if any person having the doubt, can you please paste so that I can clarify that.